Dave Gins here, December 2015, and I've been on the ice six days already. And what a treat that was to get up there on first ice. You know, safety is first. You got to check that ice out, make sure it's safe. But we caught some some nice fish. We got some some big bluegills, crappies. Uh, one big pike was caught. Uh, you know, ten and ten and three quarters was the biggest bluegill. Uh, the pike was the biggest one was uh, 34 inches. That's pretty good when you consider it was a two pound test line and a five inch hole. You know, it seems like the icing is ice fishing is in full scale up north in the first ice spots. Uh, I had five to seven inches, but these are shallow lakes, bays on bigger lakes. The big lakes are still wide open, so you, you got to be careful. There's people out in boats, but you know, where they froze up early, you know, week before uh, Thanksgiving, uh, we, we had good ice. Uh, the nice thing about it is there's not many people out there right now. So, you know, what a time we had. It was two different types of bites. One was in the weeds, uh, the weed fish. A lot of pike were in the, in, in the weedy areas. You know, gets plenty of my jigs when that happens. And pike are biting off my jigs all the time. And then the other bite was a basin bite. It was a, a lake, uh, not many weeds in it. And the fish were in uh, 13 to 17 feet of water, which is my favorite kind of fishing when you're when you're fishing in that that, that little deeper water because they're suspended, they're up off the bottom. You you, you drill holes and look around and, until you, you see some fish. You know, I, I often say, what's my, my favorite thing to fish? Red lines on my Vexlar, I don't care what, what they are. Just give me some red lines and I'm a, I'm a happy camper. So, you know, it's, it's, it's time to get out there and do some ice fishing and I'll be back on the ice in just a few days to catch some more of them red lines.